good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2016 Mercedes-Benz E350. This E350 is showing just over 86,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview on both the interior and the exterior of the vehicle, as well as showing you some of its most notable features. Starting here in the exterior, you'll see that apart from some minor cosmetic defects, the paint is in very nice condition with this beautiful piano black finish. You see some minor, minor swirl marks there in the paint, as well as a minor scratch there on the other side of the hood. But largely it does present nicely, and I'm going to take you really close to the panel so as to look for any dings or dents in the bodywork. Fender looks very nice. You'll notice on the rear edge of this door there is a small ding, as you can see, in the light. Rear door here on the driver's side looks nice, and that condition carries on to the quarter panel. Now this vehicle is fitted with the beautiful 18-inch AMG line split five-spoke wheels. Really an attractive wheel option on the E350. Really does complete the look on the exterior in my opinion. You can see the AMG badging just there. No curb rash to be seen anywhere on these wheels. They look just phenomenal. And the center caps do show minor wear as is relatively common with an E350 of this vintage. Front wheel just the same. Really nice condition. This center cap is in rather nice shape. And you can see the brakes are in nice shape just behind there with those drilled rotors. <clears throat> now taking a look at the front fascia. You'll see the headlights have some really interesting lighting technology hidden inside there. And when the daytime running lights are on, it does provide a really cool look with those beautiful strips of LED lighting carrying down from the top of the light over towards the corner. It's a really attractive look. This is, of course, the 2016 model, which is a facelift over the old E350. So while the rear may look familiar, the front is an entirely new look, and it just looks excellent. Really nice mix of an aggressive look along with some really luxurious styling. Looking here at the front grille, it's got a nice contrast from the rest of the vehicle with that beautiful silver and chrome accent. And as you can see, that contrast carries to the lower portion of the bumper with that chrome splitter, which does have a couple minor defects like you see there on the corner. And you'll notice the small chip in the grille surrounding the beautiful Mercedes emblem just there. You also do have the classic Mercedes-Benz badging on the hood. Looking here at the front wheel on the passenger side, again, really nice condition apart from that center cap which is showing a little bit of wear. And it's a similar story here at the back. But the actual metal content of the wheel is in really great shape, especially on that outer, outer edge. It's nice to see these wheels in such great condition. Now carrying back on the passenger side of the vehicle, looking for dings or dents. Nothing to be seen carrying back to the drive or the front door, pardon me. Rear door looks nice as well. And that carries into the quarter panel. Now here at the rear of the vehicle, see the tail lights are in very nice condition, nice and clear. And they do also share that really nice LED technology with the front of the vehicle. All of the chrome badging, again, provides a nice contrast and that's all in great shape, not showing any water spotting or discoloration. You do have that nice small accent spoiler there on the rear of the trunk, which adds that little bit of extra aggressive styling to the rear. And when paired with the beautiful chrome diffuser piece there, which blends very nicely with those dual chrome exhaust tips, provides a very nice look at the rear. It is worth noting there is a small kind of ripple in the lower portion of the bumper there. The paint is largely in nice condition. However, there is a bit of that body defect. I feel I should point that out to you. So next up, we're going to make our way to the interior. <clears throat> make your way inside. Taking a look first off at the driver's seat, you'll find the bolsters to be in very nice condition with that white contrasted stitching carrying onto the headrest. And the same goes for the passenger seat. It's all in nice condition. However, you will see minor imperfections there on the forward portion of the seat bottom. Seats are very comfortable. It's beautifully appointed with black leather everywhere through the interior. You can see here on the door cards, you do have some more of that really nice black leather with the white contrasted stitching. And the steering wheel, of course, is a full leather-wrapped unit with perforation uh, for both hands. All of which is in very nice condition, and all of the controls here on the steering wheel are in nice shape as well. 
So we're gonna fire it up. Of course, it is keyless entry and start. As you can see, the Chrome start button just there. Fires up without hesitation. As you can see, the command system firing up. If you do see the flickering on camera, uh, to the human eye, this looks perfect. It's just due to the uh, refresh rate of the camera. It has this effect, uh, but maybe I can find an angle. As you can see, it's less pronounced now. That screen does work exactly as designed. Hopefully you can see from this angle in reverse, you do have that nice high definition backup camera with different fields of view for different scenarios. It can be easier to see around corners with that system. Everything in the infotainment system functions exactly as designed and is all controlled via this small panel here. Now looking around the controls, you'll find all of that wooden trim to be in nice condition. It adds a little bit of a nice contrast in the interior, especially when paired with all of these small silver accents like the vents and that beautiful analog clock you'll find right in the center of the interior. It really is a nice centerpiece and it does work as intended. It really draws your attention uh, right to that center stack. It's very nice. Making our way down, you will see all of the controls for the radio and media <coughs> look perfect and they haven't lost any of their original text. And all of your controls just here, like your heated seats, your eco mode, as well as this button here, just to the right of the heated seat, that actually controls a rear sunshade, which I will operate for you now. It is currently deployed, as you can see. And with one push of that button, you'll see it smoothly retract all the way down. Just showing you the operation. And that is a nice feature for your rear passengers. Hitting the button one more time, so as you can see, it raises up. No issues whatsoever. That's a nice feature for your rear passengers and for driver comfort as well. As you can see, as I look in the rear mirror, you can see that kind of blocks out a lot of that harsh light that might be coming through. Of course, Harman Kardon sound system, as we know, a nice sound system can really improve a driving experience for a vehicle. And of course, with a Mercedes-Benz, you would expect nothing less. All of your climate controls work perfectly, and all of the buttons hold their original text and functionality. Here under this cover, you will find an ashtray, which is very clean with some nice chrome bezeling, and a couple of cup holders as well. This cup holder panel can be removed, and it's actually a nice little storage pocket, so it's a nice way to utilize that space. So next up, I'm going to make my way under the hood, and we'll take a look at the V6 engine. So as I've just popped the hood, we can take a look at the V6 power plant under the hood. Now this is a really nice motor. We see these in a lot of vehicles here at Alpha Cars. And this V6 engine has proven to be very robust and reliable, as well as providing enough power to provide an exciting driving experience. But it's very, very smooth delivery, very economical as well, especially with the eco mode fitted to this vehicle. And under the hood, you can see it's very clean. All of these lines look very nice. Reservoirs are nice and clear. Plastics shine bright on the engine. They look very nice. All of the hardware surrounding the suspension isn't showing any corrosion, really is well cared for. Again, this engine paired with the transmission in this vehicle just provides for such a smooth driving experience, especially with that V6. Now, as you can see here at the rear, I have not adjusted the seating position from where I was just showing you the front. And being about six foot four, you can see I can climb right in having absolutely no problems fitting back here. Gives you a nice view of the front area for the driver and passenger. And as you can see, I have a good four or five inches of legroom between my knees and the seat back of the driver's seat. So this is more than capable of fitting four rather tall adults uh, in the vehicle. Of course, there is a third seat belt for a middle passenger, but their seating can be replaced by this nice drop down armrest as well, which houses some cup holders. And this also gives you a nice view of that gorgeous sunroof just above the front occupants. As I mentioned before, you can see that sunshade is deployed at the moment, providing a nice bit of shade for me here at the rear of the vehicle. So next up, I'm going to make my way to the trunk and give you a quick look at the storage space available in the E350. So taking a look at the trunk, I'm just going to tap this latch here and it Effortless, effortlessly glides open, pardon me. As you can see here in the rear, we do have two sets of mats. We do have the original carpets as well as the all weather, pardon me, all weather mats, which are all in great shape. You can see a great amount of storage here at the rear, as well as these two latches, which drop down the rear seats in a 60-40 split, providing a whole lot of extra potential cargo space here at the rear. Now here on the trunk lid, you do have these nice controls. You can lock the vehicle and then conveniently one tap 
smoothly latches itself down into place with a soft close feature. This is a really nice vehicle and at the mileage it's an appealing price and just a beautiful set of styling. As you can see those daytime running lights are on that I mentioned earlier really providing that aggressive styling here at the front. It's really a beautiful facelift but otherwise the car did not need much changing. The E350 is just a wonderful wonderful everyday vehicle. So if you have any further questions related to this E350, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.